You ever have those days where you just have grand plans of all the stuff you want to do and the, just things don't quite line up right? Today is one of those days for me. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to get done and film and, and having this video for you, but uh, I started working on a gameplay video, realized some other stuff wasn't going to happen. So basically, uh, we're changing things up. We're going to do something that I wasn't playing today, and that's... Well, I want to take a look at the Infinis a bit today, but before that, we got some other things to do. Uh, namely, open those other things that I mentioned in Tuesday's episode, and I, I kind of wanted to save these for next week, but then I had the thought, well, you know, my birthday's on Saturday, so let's just open it all now. Yeah, let's do it. So, uh, this... This is when I brought the knife out when this has a nice little pull tab. This is something I bought from Recipration, Recip, Re, Reciprocation Props. I brought it up on the screen over here because I'm apparently bad at words. Uh, but this is something we talked about at Endwar Foam Con and then, oh, 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 oh yes. A katana mag holder that is not vertically mounted, but horizontally mounted on your vertical molly uh, stuff. And oh, this, I am very excited about this. So yeah, we talked a little bit at End War or FoamCon, like I said. Uh, he brought over one of his mag holders for katana mags and I was taking a look and I was like, this would be awesome. Is it possible to do this in a uh, horizontal mounting? And he said, yeah, let me just get on that. So uh, he, mocked one up and, and sent the uh, images my way and I was like, yes, please let me buy it. So he made one of these for me and I'm going to test it, run it at some games. Uh, we're going to put this on, but let's just see how the katana mags fit in here to start. And we've got them staggered. Yes. Oh. Oh, I'm happy. They're staggered just ever so slightly, so it makes these ones easier to grab than... The, ooh, that's in there pretty good. Wow. That's in there really good. I'm almost afraid I'm gonna break it to pull it out. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. So yeah, you just do a little bit of... I, I, whenever I get something like this, I'm always hesitant about how much I can, uh, how much force I can put in. So yeah, wow, look, those are in there really good. Uh, I assume this will wear over time slightly bit by bit to make it a little bit easier and kind of wear in, but this is nice. He even put my logo on there, like how cool is that? So this is something we're gonna mess around with, uh, but let's, let's open the other package. Our other package comes to us from overseas. This comes from my 3D base, and this is something that they have been messaging with me about for a little while, and uh, well, this may be either the only or one of very few in uh, existence currently, or in the US at least. Let me pop this open. Did we get all the tape? We did not. It's packaged well, so it does not get damaged in transit, which is always appreciated. But let's, let's see what goodies are in here. All right, we've got something to cover something. Oh, there we go. All right. The unraveling of the bubble wrap. Yes, there it is. This is a fully 3D printed blaster by my 3D base. And it is, ooh, that's a, that's a long trigger pull, but a smooth trigger pull. Like that, that feels very satisfying. Now this has a very, uh, almost kind of Star Wars feel to me, is kind of the vibe I get from this. Uh, Something else also cool is they put my logo on this. So again, 3D printed, Jangular logo, love it. Uh, now we're gonna have all of the information and details for you. I will get to you, but 
This is the, I believe, NG1. Uh, it is something they are currently working on. It is something they asked if I wanted to test and take a look at. So we are definitely going to do so. Uh, we're gonna get our opinions out there to you and share everything with you. But they set it up for a 2S battery. So, uh, well, I know I said we gotta play with the Infinis, but I wanna play with this too. So I, let's, uh, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. This thing is very cool looking. It's very distinct looking. It, it's, it's a little bit small. Uh, compared to something you may see otherwise, which could be a plus for a lot of people. If you want something compact, this is definitely toy size. Uh, it is, to give you an idea in terms of size, there is a Strife and there is the NG-1. Uh, and you could even shorten the NG-1 because this is all barrel on the front to around there. And we'll put the stock on and to give you an idea of sizing, but it's definitely, it feels compact. We have horizontal flywheels on here, which is definitely interesting. Uh, so we're gonna see how this does, but uh, like I said, I'm torn. Oh, let's, let's pop open the Infinis first, yeah? I know, I don't want this to turn into like an unboxing Nerf channel, that's all we do, but this week, this week we're just, we got so much stuff, I'm kind of overwhelmed, everybody, be quite honest. Uh, it's, it's going to be, uh, quite a time getting everything filmed but let's let's get it all out of the box at least and then we'll go on from there all right so my decision was made easy for me on what we are going to do next because uh the <laughs> battery connector on the ng1 unfortunately is the same end as the battery so uh i'm gonna have to wire something up to connect these two but uh it's not the end of the world it just means we aren't doing it today so with that said, let's go ahead and crack open, make sure that's in fall first, the Infinis. Because this is a big one that is gonna be fun to mess around with. Thank you again, Trail Miner, for your uh, wonderful generosity and, and everyone who sends things, thank you. It continues to always blow my mind that was loud uh i thought there was going to be a tray holding everything like with other nerf blasters but oh, that is chunky that is very chunky uh ugh. honestly i don't know that i like how this feels this is it's it's beefy it's a beefy, bulky, chunky blaster. Like, everything about it is just... It's like as wide as a Pyragon. Like, ugh. The stock is stubby and short. And, like, doesn't feel... Doesn't feel particularly good. Um, I gotta say, the initial, initial reaction immediately out of the box is not that great this angled foregrip is even worse looking in person and worse feeling it feels empty it feels like hollow thin plastic and i honestly why why wasn't it half the size so if i remember correctly the pictures of the internals it's not all full of electronics i mean that sounds pretty hollow to me uh, I'll see if I can get a picture of the internals up here. Yeah, why not? Why not just make it a minimal, like, thing right here? Because I think there's some stuff here, like the switches for the uh, the the feeding mechanism that that loads darts back in. But yeah, wow! I don't know that that the thing that you grip onto should not feel cheap, and that's what it feels like. And this is not a cheap blaster. Um, I mean, if you chop this off, this front barrel portion is actually really cool looking. Like, you just kind of eliminate that. Like, that's all of a sudden pretty cool looking. And that's something I'd be very interested in. So, I don't know. Like, maybe if we got rid of this stuff here? I don't know. But something interesting, I need to get some batteries put some batteries in here and then we can have some fun. So let's go do that. All right, 
So you know how we said that today is one of those days where plans don't quite go the way ex they were expected to. Well, I thought we had plenty of D batteries for the Infinis to go ahead and mess around with it and have a good time and, and uh, really get our first impressions out there. It seems we don't. So uh, we're going to have to save this and the, all the fun we're going to have messing with the loading mechanism. I have some ideas to test it. Uh, we're going to save that for another episode. So my apologies, but we will get there, Trail Miner. We, we will get there. Thank you again for this. I'm looking forward to it, and I've got to go get those batteries soon. But don't have time for that today. So let's take a look at one of the other myriad of things that we uh, received. We'll, we'll pick one from it, and we'll, we'll have some fun with that. So uh, let's go ahead and jump cut, I guess. I'm sensing the trend here. Uh, trying to put on the mag holder for my Emma camera battery just died. We are on a roll today. But yeah, I, I'm, I was trying to put this mag holder on from uh, reciprocation props and uh, it appears that the spacing between the Molly webbing and the actual Molly adapters is too small so things are bunching up and getting caught. So after at least 10 minutes of trying to put this in and realizing then that it just wasn't going to happen, uh, we should, I guess, try something else. Um, what else can we, what else can we do? I really want to mess with these, but therefore put the Kronos build in the future, though I did notice that the door delete piece that uh, was sent by Foam Technician is glow in the dark, which is awesome. Um, let's change the spring in the seat and see if that helps it for its performance. I, we got to do something today, okay? Got to do something. I thought maybe with an upgraded spring, this would be a little bit more consistent, be a little bit more uh, reliable, but I just tried both short darts and full length darts. I used some waffles and I used uh, worker gen twos and it was not consistent at all. And the shots just did not seem right. Now, I still have not set up the new chronograph and all that to find out if or to be able to do proper readings, but I just wanted to show you. I took a little bit of footage, but uh, I just had a dart fold over in on of itself. So, uh, I currently cannot highly recommend the seed. This is not my full review still. I still need to do more with this before I do a full on review, but uh, with the Omni kit it comes with, I'm having a hard time recommending it. I, I you, ha, you gotta wait until the Alpha kit comes out, the Omni kit comes out, or you put your own internals inside of it, because something is just not quite there with this. But, and my battery's dying in, so forgive me for rushing through this. It just seems like one of those days, you know, where things just aren't quite working right. Uh, but I, I hope 
my continued fumblings and not getting things working properly has been at least somewhat entertaining. Thank you for sticking through if you made it to this point for uh, for all this. But thank you again to everyone that sends things. I'm looking forward to messing with the NG1 once I get that set up. And the Katana Mag holders and the Foam Technician Kronos stuff. And the stock battery and the new Kronos. And the Infinis from Trail Miner. Thank you again Pandemodium for the Chrono that we still got to open. All of you are amazing and this has been a fantastic pre-birthday week uh so thank you so much i couldn't i couldn't be more thankful despite all the things uh not going according to plan today so thank you so much for sticking around for uh hopefully enjoying this with me with that said just thank you <laughs> I'm going to go try and find something to work and, and do properly and get this all up for you. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed all this fumbling around, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.